With the help of the pirate empress Boa Hancock, Luffy successfully sneaked into the castle without being detected by the enemies. However, from now on, Luffy will have to act alone without knowing what dangers lie ahead. Using Ace's Vivra card, Luffy knows that his brother is located below and tries to find a way down. On this particular day, a prisoner with intentions to escape catches Luffy's attention, and it turns out to be none other than the clown pirate captain, Buggy. Buggy, who was previously defeated by Luffy in the East Blue, managed to escape from his cell on the first floor thanks to the powers of the Bara Bara Nomi. Although the guards have noticed and are pursuing Buggy, Luffy remains undecided on how to proceed. At this moment, Luffy is still standing there, unsure of how to descend. Eventually, he asks some fellow prisoners and learns that his brother is imprisoned on the sixth floor, where the most notorious criminals with bounties over 100 million berries are held. Unexpectedly, they cross paths again due to their shared circumstances, and both join forces to defeat the axe-wielding monsters. Although they work together, Luffy manages to defeat almost all of them, leaving only one for Buggy. Buggy is surprised to learn that Luffy is here to rescue Ace, and since they don't share the same goal, they quickly part ways. Suddenly, Buggy notices the compass hanging from Luffy's wrist, which leads to the treasure of the pirate John, much to his delight. In exchange for the compass, Buggy has no choice but to guide Luffy down to the lower floors. Buggy's ability is very useful in this prison, with Luffy holding onto his legs, he can fly freely. Thinking that Buggy has good intentions, Luffy trusts him and hands over the compass. Buggy is touched by Luffy's trust, and in a moment of distraction, they crash through the cell, alerting the enemies and falling straight to the first floor, known as the Hell of Blood. Surrounded by sharp iron spikes, which cause excruciating pain to the prisoners, Buggy is unfazed because he can now fly above the ground as long as his feet touch the floor. The two quickly reach a gigantic bottomless pit, which serves as the entrance to the second floor. Without much thought, Luffy jumps down, and seeing this, Buggy laughs triumphantly for having deceived Luffy. From the beginning, he had no intention of going down below. However, things don't go as planned when a guard throws a spear, splitting Buggy's body in half. His lower half accidentally falls into the pit, leaving Buggy with no choice but to follow. The second floor is a hellish beast zone where countless strange creatures are tasked with guarding the prisoners. As soon as they set foot, Luffy and Buggy encounter a giant snake-like rooster, which crazily pursues them, forcing the duo to flee. Meanwhile, Hancock was escorted by the chief warden, Hannibal, down to the fourth floor to meet the Impel Downs warden, the venomous Magellan. Due to his devil fruit power, Magellan spends 10 hours a day in the restroom, leaving only 4 hours for work. Although it may seem humorous, Magellan possesses incredibly terrifying power. At this moment, Luffy's intrusion into the prison has been discovered. Quick-witted Hancock uses her beauty to distract the warden, demanding to be taken down to see Ace. Meanwhile, after delivering a giant punch, Luffy easily defeats the giant monster in front of him, leaving Buggy astonished. The prisoners witness this scene and enthusiastically plead for Luffy to rescue them from this place. Surprisingly, Mr. Three, an old enemy of Luffy, is also imprisoned here and sees this as a rare opportunity to escape. Sensing the chaos as an opportunity to flee, Buggy tosses the keys to the prisoners. However, Luffy pays no attention to this and hastily pulls Buggy along to find a way down to the next floor. But Buggy refuses outright, not willing to rush headlong into danger. Suddenly, the prisoners return to their cells, leaving Buggy bewildered, it turns out they are terrified of facing the monsters outside. While they prefer to stay put, Mr. Three thinks differently and steps forward to cooperate with Luffy in this escape attempt. Thus, Luffy gains another ally. Of course, both Buggy and Mr. Three have different motives from Luffy's but are compelled to follow along. The three of them continue to be chased by a pack of lion-like creatures, forcing them to flee in chaos. After a while, they manage to reach the stairs leading down to the third floor. However, a giant sphinx beast is guarding this place, and upon seeing them, it starts attacking fiercely. Buggy and Mr. Three decide to work together to find a way up, ignoring Luffy. Meanwhile, Luffy, still unaware of the situation, fights back against the monster, which goes berserk, fighting wildly around. To buy time, Mr. Three creates wax clones, confusing the sphinx. Afterwards, the beast continuously smashes the clones, causing the ground to collapse, and they all fall directly to the third floor, known as the Starving Hell. Upon hearing that the second floor is in chaos, the guards immediately rush over, unaware that the prisoners on this floor have been freed and intend to start a riot. Meanwhile, Luffy's group is now on the third floor, where it's scorching hot, and the Sphix Beast is unconscious, no longer a threat. Luffy, ever optimistic, asks Buggy for a way to the next floor, which infuriates him. 
Meanwhile, the prison guards have set a trap here, waiting for Luffy's group to take the bait, and the three of them are ensnared in an iron net. Made from sea stone, it prevents devil fruit users from escaping. Luckily, the Sphinx Beast wakes up just in time and thrashes around, tearing the net apart, allowing them to escape successfully. As a group of axe-wielding monsters charges at Luffy, he defeats them all. Unexpectedly, Buggy and Mr. Three decide to betray Luffy at this moment, choosing to fight on their own. Dealing with numerous adversaries like ants is time-consuming, so Luffy decides to retreat for now. Meanwhile, Buggy and Mr. Three contemplate finding a way up to the next floor when they accidentally hear someone singing. Mr. Three rushes to investigate and discovers someone familiar, it's Mr. Two Bon Clay, a former colleague from Baroque Works. Despite their mutual dislike, Mr. Three still frees the Okama. Meanwhile, Boa Hancock has been taken to the floor where Ace is held. Seeing a beautiful woman, the prisoners cheer excitedly, taunting Hancock, which angers Magellan. He summons a venomous beast to attack the unruly inmates. Taking advantage of the distraction, Hancock secretly informs Ace that Luffy has infiltrated to rescue him, shocking Ace. At this moment, Luffy is still wandering alone, trying to find a way down, but he's unable to. The guards launch ambushes everywhere, continuously setting traps. Luffy ends up being restrained by the Sphinx Beast, but unexpectedly, Zoro appears just in time to rescue him with a powerful strike. It turns out Bon Clay used his Devil Fruit power to transform into Zoro. Much to Luffy's joy at meeting his old friend again. They join forces to defeat the Sphinx Beast, and Bon Clay decides to assist Luffy in finding a friend on the fifth floor. Finally, the chaos caused by the four criminals in the prison reaches Magellan's ears, enraging him. The demonic prison guards are ordered to guard the third floor, and if Luffy's group manages to overcome them, they will face the barricade of Warden Magellan on the fourth floor. Before Luffy and Bon Clay now stands the Minotaurus, a bull-like creature wielding a hammer. Its strikes are deadly, causing Bon Clay to cough up blood. Luffy also takes a similar blow. Seeing this, Bon Clay rushes to rescue his comrade. Only to be caught in its grip. With the situation critical, Luffy is forced to use gear second and delivers a punch that sends it flying. Then, Bon Clay leads Luffy to climb a nearby wall, where they can jump down to the fourth floor, the inferno awaiting them. However, it's even hotter down there, thousands of times hotter, so both hesitate a bit. The person they hope to meet is Ivankov, the queen of the Kamabaka kingdom, idolized by Okama all over the world. When Bon Clay learns that Ivankov is imprisoned here, he decides to risk it all to rescue him. Thinking that Buggy and Mr. Three have escaped, they find out that they are still stuck on this third floor, being chased by Minotaurus. So the four of them have to stick together again in a dire situation. To end this, Buggy uses a specially crafted bullet hidden in his shoe to shoot straight at Minotaurus. Surprisingly, it works, causing Minotaurus to become dazed. Seeing this, Bon Clay follows up with a powerful kick to Minotaurus's head, while Mr. Three creates a wax coating on Luffy's hands. Then Luffy delivers a powerful punch to defeat the monster. With their skilled teamwork, they emerge victorious. However, the debate continues, some want to go down, while others want to go up. Unexpectedly, the commotion from the earlier battle causes the ceiling to collapse, resulting in Luffy's group falling freely to the next floor. This floor is a fiery hell with a boiling blood pool, falling into it would mean instant death. Meanwhile, Magellan is stationed at the staircase from the third floor to the fourth, unaware that Luffy's group has taken a shortcut. He orders his subordinates to block all exits and capture Straw Hat Luffy. Luckily, Luffy's group avoids falling into the blood pool and manages to climb onto a bridge. Exhausted from running and jumping all day, Luffy starts feeling hungry and rushes to find a kitchen. Seeing this, Bon Clay follows suit, while Buggy and Mr. Three decide to split up. Luffy defeats all the guards around charging forward without realizing the danger he's about to face. As Mr. Three predicted, Magellan is now on the fourth floor to thwart Luffy's plan, overcoming him will be incredibly difficult for Luffy. Realizing the danger ahead, Bon Clay urges Luffy to flee immediately unless he wants to die. However, all escape routes are surrounded, leaving only the option of fighting. Magellan summons a deadly hydra to pursue Luffy and Bon Clay. The poison it emits causes casualties wherever it goes, regardless of friend or foe. Luffy struggles to avoid its attacks, but Magellan also fires poisonous balls from his mouth. When they burst, a large amount of toxic gas is released, causing Luffy's eyes to burn, making it impossible for him to see the way to escape. Not stopping there, Magellan creates a duct made of poison and crawls through it to approach Luffy. His attacks are extremely dangerous, wherever they touch, things melt away. Luffy is powerless to resist.
On the other hand, overwhelmed by fear, Bon Clay decides to flee to a corner, tears streaming down his face. Though he wants to help Luffy desperately, the enemy before them is truly too powerful, even a slight mistake could mean death. Meanwhile, Buggy and Mr. Three seize the opportunity of chaos on the fourth floor to sneak upwards. The path is guarded by Vice Warden Hannibal, so both are quite confident in their escape. After a struggle, Luffy, unwilling to let things continue this way, slams his hands onto the ground, activating Gear 2 at any cost. He must save Ace, even if it means sacrificing his two hands. Luffy unleashes a flurry of punches at Magellan's abdomen, pushing him back. However, what seemed easy turns out differently, both Buggy and Mr. Three are swiftly defeated. They didn't expect Hannibal to be so powerful. Meanwhile, Bon Clay continues to run, feeling guilty for leaving Luffy behind. Luffy's sudden attack surprises Magellan, but it's not enough. With Luffy's hands covered in poison, he's in excruciating pain as Magellan continuously releases poison towards him. Luffy doesn't bother dodging anymore. He knows he's going to die either way. Finally, Vice Warden Magellan creates a toxic fog surrounding the entire fourth floor. The poison seeps into Luffy's bloodstream, causing him to lose his sight gradually. The poison has penetrated his body, and he collapses. The next relentless attacks all miss their target, resulting in Luffy's complete defeat against the strongest figure in Impel Down. Magellan orders his subordinates to throw Luffy down to the fifth floor to endure physical torture until death. This floor is an icy hell with a harsh climate, if one doesn't move, their entire body will freeze instantly. Magellan returns to the staircase leading to the third floor, extremely surprised to find all the guards defeated. With Bon Clay being the one who caused it. Even Hannibal is no match for Bon Clay. Magellan orders Hannibal to handle everything immediately while he goes to the restroom. Hannibal takes Buggy and Mr. Three to the interrogation room for a private conversation, unaware that it's actually Bon Clay in disguise. Bon Clay does this because he wants to go down to the fifth floor to rescue Luffy. Despite Buggy and Mr. Three's efforts to stop him, they can't shake Bon Clay's determination. Afterward, Bon Clay continues to disguise himself as Hannibal and enters the medical room to search for an antidote for Luffy. However, the medical team hasn't been able to develop such an antidote yet. In a moment of desperation, Bon Clay suddenly remembers that Queen Ivankov might be able to save anyone's life. Therefore, all three decide to descend to the fifth floor to seek help from Ivankov. However, in the list of prisoners, Ivankov's name has been crossed off as he disappeared without a trace one day. As soon as they stepped into the icy hell, they were almost frozen solid, not to mention that in front of the three of them were hungry white wolves. Seeing this, Buggy and Mr. Three immediately ran away, leaving only Bon Clay to search for Luffy. At this moment, Luffy was trying to wake up despite being heavily poisoned. Bon Clay apologized to Luffy for leaving him earlier, promising that this time he wouldn't let him die. After inquiring about information from other prisoners, Bon Clay pulled the cart carrying Luffy deeper into the pine forest. At that moment, a pack of white wolves surrounded them, driven by hunger after days of starvation, they rushed forward to tear Bon Clay apart. Under the harsh weather of the fifth level and the sheer number of wolves, Bon Clay collapsed. At the same time, Luffy woke up and fought back against the wolves. Not stopping there, Luffy unintentionally unleashed Conqueror's hockey, making all the wolves faint, including the two from their severe injuries. Suddenly, a strange man appeared, perhaps the savior of Luffy and Bon Clay. Meanwhile, Hannibal was tied up and hanging in the weapon storage of the prison. It turned out that Bon Clay had transformed into Nami to seduce and then lure him into the trap. Magellan was struggling in the restroom due to overdosing on toxins earlier. Levels 1 and 2 had also been brought back under control. Returning to Bon Clay, he suddenly woke up in an unfamiliar place, surrounded by countless Okama revelers, partying like paradise. Upon questioning, they found out they were still in Impel Down. The person who brought Bon Clay here was revealed to be an Azuma, who could fluidly change gender thanks to Ivankov's ability. Finally, Ivankov appeared, a person with extremely peculiar appearance and personality, possessing the ability to alter anyone's hormones. With this power, Ivankov could turn men into women and vice versa. Seeing the wonder of the Okama Queen, Bon Clay begged for her to save Straw Hat. Ivankov had been monitoring everything happening in the prison through Den Den Mushy television and showed great respect for Luffy. Therefore, he decided to intervene to rescue Luffy from danger. Currently, Luffy had been treated for over 10 hours but was still in critical condition. Whether Luffy could survive or not depended on luck and his strong will. Ivankov further explained that they were currently on level 5.5, a level created not long ago by the person with the power of the Ashi Ashi fruit, located between levels 5 and 6. 
Level 6 was the Eternal Hell, where prisoners with bounties over 100 million berries were imprisoned, and Ace was currently held there, with his execution imminent. Luffy is in critical condition and cannot save his older brother. Bon Clay runs to the room where Luffy is lying and encourages him to quickly overcome this danger. Other Okamas also enthusiastically follow suit. After more than 15 hours of cheering, Luffy's voice suddenly disappears. It seems like he won't make it, but his strong vitality truly wakes him up. The first thing Luffy says is that he wants food. A large amount of food is brought in, but Luffy quickly eats it all. Luffy's quick recovery surprises everyone with his extraordinary strength. Due to the overwhelming support, Bon Clay is now unable to move. Luffy is extremely grateful for his kindness. Shortly after recovering, Luffy plans to continue rescuing his older brother. Ivankov has to bid farewell to Luffy because this Okama does not want to leave. Ivankov is a revolutionary who only escapes when the leader, Dragon, takes action. At this moment, Luffy accidentally reveals that Dragon is his father, leaving Ivankov stunned. He has no doubt and completely believes in Luffy's words because they truly resemble each other. Thinking that Ace is also Dragon's son, Ivankov decides to support Luffy in going down to level 6. Inazuma also asks to accompany and help them. The three of them break through all obstacles and rush down like a storm. However, when they reach the prison cell, Ace is not there. It turns out that a few minutes ago, Magellan had taken Ace up to hand him over to the Marines for execution. Jinbei, one of the seven warlords of the sea, is being held on this level for refusing to confront the Whitebeard pirates. He is surprised when Luffy actually comes here. He tells Luffy that Ace was just taken away, so they might be able to catch up. However, the prison has blocked all escape routes upwards, making it impossible for them to leave. Then, a toxic gas is released, preventing Luffy from getting close. Inazuma uses his power to cut the floor and block the toxic gas. Although this means that the group cannot catch up to Ace, Luffy makes an unexpected decision. He will go to the Marine headquarters to save his older brother from execution. Ivankov thinks this is crazy, but cannot stop the determination of the Straw Hat Kid. At this time, Crocodile, one of Luffy's former enemies, is also being held here and asks Luffy to free him. In return, he will create a hole in the ceiling for them to escape. Luffy disagrees with this proposal because he knows how evil Crocodile is. However, Ivankov believes that Crocodile's power can be useful. He and Crocodile have known each other before. At the same time, Ivankov knows a life-threatening weakness of Crocodile. If he has any evil intentions, this secret will be revealed immediately. Jinbei, one of the seven warlords of the sea, also wants to save Ace and asks Luffy to remove his handcuffs. He swears that he will be useful to Luffy. Without much time to think, two monsters on level 6 are released, forming a super strong escape team. When the prison guards come down to level 6, the group has already left. Hannibal has managed to escape and orders his subordinates to immediately surround level 4 and prevent the prisoners from escaping. On the fifth level, Ivankov gathers the Okamas and prepares for an unprecedented rebellion in Impel Down's history. Meanwhile, the trio of Jinbei, Crocodile, and Luffy quickly return to level 4 with the help of Crocodile's power. All wooden doors are instantly destroyed. Guards waiting behind them see them and start shooting. However, the three of them are too strong. All the guards are quickly defeated. On the other hand, after much effort, Buggy and Mr. 3 have reached level 2. They have released all the prisoners so that they can escape during the chaos. Therefore, these guys are extremely grateful and worship Buggy as their savior. Level 4 is also chaotic as Crocodile throws the key to free Mr. 1, his subordinate. Led by Luffy, all the escaped prisoners rush forward like a storm, leaving the impel down soldiers stunned and unsure how to stop them. This is still not the worst news, as the Blackbeard pirates suddenly arrive at the prison. Anyone who gets in their way is mercilessly killed by Blackbeard's crew. Upon receiving this shocking news, Hannibal is unable to think or react. Fortunately, Magellan has finished using the restroom and single-handedly deals with the rioting prisoners on level 2. At the same time, Magellan's poison has sealed off the staircase leading to the first level for Buggy's group. In this desperate situation, Magellan has to rely on the help of the chief guard, Shiryu. He is extremely powerful but has a bloodthirsty nature, which is why Magellan imprisoned him on level 6. As soon as he received his sword, Shiryu began to slaughter all of his subordinates to satisfy his bloodlust. Afterwards, he went to find Blackbeard to carry out Magellan's orders. On the other side, Luffy's group was being hindered by the prison guards led by Suddy. 
These three giant guards were quite strong and could overpower anyone trying to advance to the upper levels. However, they were only able to delay them for a short while before being blown away by Crocodile, Jinbei, and Luffy in a single strike. Meanwhile, Blackbeard was sweeping through the first level and no one could fight back. Finally, Shirio and Blackbeard came face to face. Will they engage in a fiery battle? At that moment, Sudi intervened and caused a part of the bridge to collapse with her whip. Seeing this, Ivankov, in his female form, stood up to confront her. Not only that, but the chief warden Hannibal also arrived on the fourth level. He continuously swung his sword at Luffy, forcing him to retreat. However, the power difference was still too great. Luffy unleashed a barrage of punches that left Hannibal exhausted. Nevertheless, this man refused to give up and repeatedly obstructed Luffy's path. Despite being beaten, both of them had their own ideals and refused to back down. Suddenly, Blackbeard appeared out of nowhere and delivered a blow that knocked Hannibal down. Luffy was surprised to see Blackbeard standing in front of him, the man who had put Ace in this situation. He continuously taunted and provoked Luffy, making him lose his temper. Luffy unexpectedly threw a punch that sent Blackbeard flying into the wall. This attack caused Teach great pain, but he refused to give up. Blackbeard then used darkness to pull Luffy towards him and delivered a devastating blow. When Luffy tried to retaliate, he was stopped by Jinbei, who told him that if he continued to be entangled with Blackbeard here, he wouldn't be able to save Ace. Not only that, but Magellan was also approaching, so they needed to leave immediately. The escape group rushed to the third level before being submerged in poison by Magellan. Magellan couldn't understand how Blackbeard managed to quickly descend to the fourth level while having to face Shiryu. It turns out Shiryu had decided to betray and follow Blackbeard, which is why he acted that way. On the second level, thanks to Blackbeard, the poison barrier was destroyed, and the prisoners mistakenly believed it was Buggy's doing. Meanwhile, Luffy had to put aside his anger and pass by Blackbeard to save Ace. Unlike Luffy, Blackbeard came to this prison to descend to the sixth level and recruit dangerous criminals into his crew. His joining the Seven Warlords was also for this purpose. Meanwhile, Sudi was easily defeated by Ivankov. By the time Magellan arrived, it was too late. Luffy's group had already escaped, but they were now facing the formidable Blackbeard pirates. Blackbeard was overconfident and didn't take his enemies seriously. So Magellan called forth his two-headed poison monster and submerged all the members of the Blackbeard pirates before coldly walking past them. The poison caused them to collapse in agony. Magellan went to Hannibal's location to commend his bravery. His rage reached its peak, and Magellan was determined not to let Luffy escape alive from this place. Buggy's group had reached the first level and was extremely excited, thinking they were about to escape. At the same time, Luffy's group was running in chaos, being chased by the Hydra Dragon. There was no other way, so Ivankov decided to stay on the third level to buy time for Luffy to escape. Inazuma used his cutting power to sever the staircase to the second level, preventing the enemy from crossing. Then Ivankov and Magellan engaged in battle. Fighting against such a powerful opponent, Okama Queen was extremely struggling and helpless. Inazuma on the second level continuously prayed for Ivankov's safety. However, the outcome of the battle was quickly decided, as Magellan charged forward with great strength, while Ivankov was defeated by his poison. Afterwards, Inazuma was also defeated by Magellan. On the other hand, Buggy was crying and complaining as he was being chased by the monsters. Although they were very close to the exit, they ran into Crocodile who was going up. The two of them didn't expect that Luffy would also emerge with so many dangerous characters. Not only that, but they also received a furious kick from Bonclay for abandoning him. Earlier, Magellan had been chasing them closely, causing Luffy to be confused. Could it be that Ivankov had already been defeated? Bonclay tried to stop Luffy from going back, but it was too late. The Hydra charged at an incredible speed, but luckily Mr. 3 managed to create a wax shield to block its attack. It was surprising that the wax power was a strong counter to the poison. Luffy saw this as a stroke of luck. Now he would join forces with Mr. 3 to stop Magellan. Meanwhile, Jinbei would go outside and seize a battleship. After being equipped with wax on his hands as a weapon, Luffy felt amazed and shed tears because he thought he looked cool. Any attacks aimed at Luffy were blocked by Mr. 3, waiting for the opportunity for Luffy to counterattack and send Magellan flying away. The other prisoners also fired cannons to support, but when they approached the main gate, they found that the vast sea was empty with no ships in sight. It turned out that the marines had already left ahead of time, but this was not a serious problem as they had Jinbei, one of the seven warlords of the sea, with them. 
He mistakenly used a door as a support and brought some strong allies to chase after the ships. Crocodile, Mr. One, and Buggy decided to step onto that door, while Jean Bay swam to the Marines with his superior swimming ability. The Marines fired back. But Jean Bay dived deep under the water and used the current to throw Crocodile's group straight into the warship. Except for Buggy, these people were all overwhelmingly powerful, and the Marines couldn't do anything. After a fierce battle, Luffy gradually lost the advantage as the wax no longer worked against Magellan's poison. They had to retreat before being defeated by his deadly techniques. Luffy ran outside where Bonclay was waiting, with the toxic monster chasing closely behind. However, Jinbei's group had not brought the ship back yet, so they were all cornered against the wall. Suddenly, Ivankov appeared with a giant head. It turned out that he was still alive and had Inazuma with him. At this moment, Jinbei contacted Luffy using a Denden Den Mushi and said that although they had taken control of the ship, the current distance was quite far. When he gave the signal, Luffy should jump into the sea, and there would be a surprise waiting. Luffy decided to trust Jinbei, then he enlarged his foot to the maximum size. Meanwhile, Mr. Three used wax to block the toxic monster. At the same time, Luffy temporarily pushed away the danger with a kick. Finally, Ivankov blinked and released everyone outside, letting them fall freely into the sea. As Jean Bay had said, a school of whales appeared to support them. The seven warlords of the sea had called them here for assistance, allowing the escaped prisoners to successfully climb onto the ship. However, there was still another worrying thing, which was the giant gate of justice that remained tightly closed. It would never open unless it received an order. But somehow, the gate suddenly opened. Magellan was surprised to see this scene and quickly ran into the control room. To his surprise, there was another Magellan present, who was actually Bon Clay using his transformation ability. He was the one who gave the order for the Gate of Justice to open. Luffy was shocked to learn that Bon Clay had decided to stay behind and help him escape. The others also had the same question as Luffy and contacted Bon Clay to express their gratitude. Bon Clay was moved and hoped that Luffy would save Ace. Everyone cried for Bon Clay's noble sacrifice, and they wished for his safety. On that day, the greatest prison in the world, Impel Down, had fallen, and this news would shake the world. However, Luffy still had one more thing to do, which was to go to the Marine headquarters and participate in the Summit War. Ace's execution was only four hours away, and on the other hand, Blackbeard's crew was still alive thanks to Shiria saving them. He also confirmed his joining the Blackbeard Pirates. Inazuma was seriously injured and being carefully treated. Luffy was still saddened by Bon Clay's situation, but he would try to reach the Marine headquarters in time. However, saving Ace seemed extremely difficult, and the outcome seemed predetermined. Thank you for watching the entire video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, like, share, and also hit the notification bell to receive updates when the channel releases new videos. Thank you.